The crypto markets are growing. Bitcoin is up 25% from $3,200 in December, trading to around $4,000 right now. Ethereum has almost doubled. Is the crypto winter finally at an end? Is it too early to call it a bull run? We talked to Naeem Aslan, Chief Market Analyst at Think Matters, and Timothy Ekening, Managing Director at Digital Asset Fund. If you look at the fundamentals, we have more positive news coming out of the crypto industry. I think the fact that uh, Bitcoin is about to um, have this first positive month, um, a lot of traders uh, are just completely focused on that because if that happened and then for the first time in the last five months, if that, uh, if that happened, I think that would be another very, very positive message. And I want the price uh, to stay above 4,000 to 4,200 by the end of this month. And I don't think that there is any problem with that. I don't see it as being the bull market now. BTC is no longer such a good proxy for crypto and that the spike down was actually, it actually happened, but it was ETH that did that, not BTC. So if we accept ETH as a proxy, maybe we've seen that spike down. I'm not sure. Personally, I'm not convinced that what we're looking at now at, what, 3,900 today, it bounced really hard off of 4,000. We're still very much in a consolidation period because I want the price to go above 6,000 in order for me to really confirm the fact that, okay, that the bull market is here. But the, the, again, the signs are here because, you know, we haven't seen a lower low for um, for the for the big. Coin price. Ethereum didn't drop below hundred dollar, and then this is what I published in my re, uh, recent article on Forbes that again, if, if the, the price hasn't dropped below hundred dollar, that also provided a lot of support for the crypto enthusiast, for the hodlers to come back into the market and then start pumping it back up. It's not clear to me that that the bear market is over, but uh, and this this movement has not really shown anything one way or the other. It's more based on, it's much more due to uh, the, to again, intra-crypto events where people are trying to figure out, you know, what should the price of BTC be? What has to happen for this to be a real bull market in BTC is BTC has got to break through 4,200 on the upside. It hit 4,236 in December. If you look at the volume uh, in terms of a price action, any downward move wasn't really supported for the, in terms of a volume, we're seeing a higher volume on the upward, uh, any upward move rather than any higher volume on the downward move. The JPM coin is the first among all the top Wall Street banks because we still have Goldman Sachs, we still have Citibank, we still have Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, and various other uh, banks sitting on the, um, you know, working on this technology. So the moment we start hearing the, uh, this news that other banks are also initiating this idea, this would be all positive development for the industry. So if you're speaking with an investor who's an active investor, I think that, um, then the room to the upside um, is limited because we need to break above 4,200 to 4,300. So we don't have a, too much of a room on the on the top side. So the, the the opportunity to get in was near enough, 33 to 3,400. Mm -hmm. But if you are speaking with an investor who is who's a who has a long term horizon and then they wanted to just buy and then put in the portfolio. Then absolutely, because you know, one, it is extremely difficult to pick the absolute bottom. And when we look at the long-term curve, we are still very much to the lower side of that curve. And then this is a great opportunity you know, or a great entry point. If you wrote it down from twenty thousand, it's definitely not the time to cash out now. Okay, uh, but the in terms of getting in, it's actually not a bad time to get in if you want to just buy and hold. That's one way of doing it. This is not a terrible time, but it would make more sense from my perspective to invest in, in an active manager and do it now because if we're not at the bottom, we're still near the bottom. Now is a good time to come in. An active manager will be able to time it uh, much better in terms of where the bottom is, and so that would make sense. But if someone is not, if someone got out at the peak or is looking at going into BT, going into crypto, I think now would be a very good time to invest. One of the things that's going on in this crypto winter, as people have taken are calling it, is there's still a lot of sub, there are a lot of substantive developments that are going on. There, uh, a lot of the weak, 
the weaker projects and weaker companies are falling out. <clears throat> so what you're left with are stronger companies in a really good position to take advantage of the upswing. And I think it's about time that we, uh, we should start seeing see these kind of moves coming in because I think investors are just tired of sitting on the sidelines and then there are lost numbers of very, uh, huge amount of a new uh, good projects in the industry where investors really kind of wanted to get into. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe and hodl.